Hey guys, it is nighttime and that's why I'm in my jammies. Um, I just got done packing for my trip to Vegas. I am headed out tomorrow morning for my trip to Vegas for a girls getaway slash bachelorette party. It's gonna be so much fun. So join me on my trip. Hey guys, so I'm about to head to the airport, but first I wanna share um, a helpful hint to you. Um, one thing I always like to do is dress comfortable. I always, always usually wear maxi dresses there. Um, just because for one thing, it's super comfortable. But for another thing is sometimes it gets kind of cold on the plane. So this keeps me warm. A lot of times I wear a little sweater over it too. Depending on the temperature, I can take the sweater off or put it on. Um, another thing is make sure you always wear flip flops because um, when you pass security, you have to take your shoes off. And it's so much easier to wear flip-flops, ones that you don't have to unbuckle on the back or anything. Um, so those are just some helpful tips for you guys. So I'm going to head to the airport. When I got off the plane, I couldn't decide which direction I should head first. Which direction would you have headed first? Hey guys, so another helpful tip I have for you is make sure you pack your alcohol in your suitcase. Because anywhere on the Vegas Strip or around the Vegas Strip, alcohol is super expensive. If you can take a taxi cab out, um, off of the strip, I mean, then you can find alcohol for cheaper. Um, make sure you have plenty of water. Um, usually I head to, like, um, the local drugstores such as um, Walgreens and pick up some water. Because um, you will totally get dehydrated in the sun or from a lot of walking or, of course, drinking a lot. So those are just some helpful tips. This was the alcohol I packed in my suitcase just to get a head start before we head to the store and buy some more. These were the shirts that I made for the bridal party and then we toasted to a wonderful time. <laughs> Okay, so another helpful hint would be to make sure you wear comfortable shoes. You'll do a lot of walking and your feet will kill you if you try to wear those cute shoes. Um, even with flip-flops, make sure you wear comfortable flip-flops. Um, if you don't plan to walk a lot, um, the taxi cabs will eat you alive and totally eat your wallet. I remember from my hotel just to the airport um, on my way back, you know, um, it cost me $40 <laughs> with, you know, um, tip or whatever. And so they will eat you alive everywhere. Um, if you are staying at the Hard Rock, it is pretty nice because they have a shuttle that brings you to the fashion show mall. So that's kind of helpful. Um, it is anywhere from 10 to $18.00. Um, to each casino if you take a taxi. So walking kind of is the way to go. In the courtyard of the Venetian, they have shows that they kind of reenact. Um, this was kind of like an opera show and it was pretty exciting. This guy, it was really interesting because he is actually real. He can move around if you watch slowly. So in my opinion, the Carnival Bar is a must-see. It is a bar kind of in the heart uh, of the city. It's, I think it's by the Caesar Palace. Um, it is such a fun little bar. Um, you can, it's kind of an open bar, so you can kind of see in and everybody, you can see out and it's just a great atmosphere. Bartenders are fun. Um, they can do tricks with the cups and the alcohol, and 
and that is definitely a must. So don't forget about the carnival bar. Can anybody guess the name of the drinks that we ordered at the carnival bar? <laughs> At the carnival bar, they go around giving you alcohol shots as long as you tip them. July 8th. July? August. Where are you from? Oregon. Oregon is it? Oh, I love Oregon. They're so politically correct. I have it in Oregon. Wait, wait, he gets my brother has it. It's a really big organ. Would you like to play it? Do you want to play it? But you gotta use your teeth. I like it. July. <laughs> Melina's from Montana. That's where all of our meals go. There's nothing else to do in Montana but to just have babies. <laughs> So rehab is the pool place to go to. Um, I've been to other different pools um, in Vegas, and I would definitely, definitely say that rehab is the best. It's kind of weird when you go in, they take you, you have to go in the elevator um, out to a parking car garage to the basement, and it's just kind of weird how they bring you in there. So it's very, very secure. Um, they really pat you down. Um, for girls, they even like touch their boobs to really make sure there's nothing in anything. It's very, very secure and safe for 
so many people. But anyways, when you're in there, it's totally worth it. Um, it's so much fun. They have amazing DJs that go on there. Um, everything's a party. Um, they always do like a splash mob party kind of thing in there. Um, um, the drinks are super expensive. Um, but, you know, it is worth it. <laughs> and it is all worth it. So you've got to check out the rehab. We were lucky enough to get tickets for free. I'm pretty sure it's because we were in our bridesmaid gear. Okay, so another helpful tip I have for you is with being a girl, you are super lucky. If you are a girl, you can get into pretty much any club for free. Um, so when you are out sightseeing during the day, um, you can go up to where the club will open and a lot of times they have people there that can put you on the guest list for the VIP and get you in for free. Um, other times they are on the street and they are trying to find you. If you are a group full of girls, then they will for sure find you and put you on the list and get you in there for free. So that is pretty helpful. Um, they do usually make you um, put your name on a list and they will call you or I mean text you and you will get a million texts. Um, but then of course when you get back home you can tell them to take you off the list and they will. So the ice bar was super cool, literally it was cool, it was cold, no, um, it was really cool but they do not allow you to take pictures inside because of course that's another way they make money off of you. Um, I kind of snapped a picture of the picture and they got upset with that. Um, but it's still really cool and um, you can drink in there. Um, is it worth the money? Well, if you go once, because it's kind of worth the experience. Um. Vegas there's a really cool restaurant um, I'm sure they have it other places too but um, it's called Dick's and it is really it is a really really fun restaurant um, it's called Dick's for that very reason because they treat you like a dick <laughs> um, also it's kind of fun though but you can treat them like a dick so you can be really mean to them they can be really mean to you but it's really fun um, there's a great DJ there um, that makes you get up and dance and they put these silly hats on you that 
that kind of describes what they think you are like. Um, so it's kind of fun. Um, they, the waiter we had was trying so hard to be a dick, but he was actually really nice at heart. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. Um, he's just like, what do you want for your order? And we're like, oh, and he's like, fine, I'm leaving. And I'm not returning till whenever I want. It was just really funny. And it was so much fun. And you drink in there. You sing songs. You dance. You eat great food. It's a lot of fun. So you should check out that restaurant for sure. Alright guys, so I had to leave you with that last picture. Um, it was a guy from the Dick's restaurant uh, again. Um, he would do birthday and lap dances and he would take his shirt off and it was super funny. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me on my trip to Vegas. Um, and next year when I go again, I'm sure I will post some more videos and more vlogs. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Talk to you later. Bye.